welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you are new here, glad you are. Hope you choose to stick around and subscribe, like this video, do all the cool things. It's free, it's nice. We could be friends. So today is Sunday. We are getting ready for a super healthy, productive, amazing week. I'm ready to go. Morgan is out golfing today, which is good because he hasn't got to do that in a while. We finally have a partly cloudy day where it's not raining, so yay for that. Um, last week should have been week three. Didn't go that well. Didn't go that well. The weekend leading into week three was kind of threw me off because it was 4th of July. My sister got engaged. We had like an engagement lunch. I got home late on Monday. Tuesday was Morgan's birthday. Wednesday, I was exhausted, like beyond belief. So on Wednesday, I decided to take, I was gonna take Friday off just for like, a, I needed a day. Um, and I'm really glad that I did that because I was just in kind of a funk and a weird headspace and I needed like a, a break from work. And I'm really glad I did that. I feel so refreshed. I literally slept for like 12 hours last night. Hallelujah. It was amazing. So I'm feeling really good today. We are headed out to run some errands, get prepped for the week. Me and Morgan like deep cleaned our living room and our kitchen yesterday, like mopped, dusted every surface, vacuumed. I uh, used the chom chom roller all over the couch, like in every crevice, which is like a pet hair picker upper thing. It's cool. I'll link it down on Amazon and just like do like this and it picks up the pet hair. Really great, better than any vacuum. Anyways, um, so our house is feeling so good. It's like the best to start out um, a week with a fresh clean house. I cleaned out some more clothes this morning and I'm actually headed to drop off some donations first before I do anything else today. Um, cleaned out some of my dresser drawers and just got rid of some more stuff that I literally never wear. I don't know why I'm such a hoarder, but got rid of some more things. Gonna drop off that and a couple of other items that we had ready to go to Goodwill um, or ready to go to donation and yeah, feeling good. I've got the sheets and the bedding and the dryer right now. So we're gonna have fresh clean sheets for the week, which I do wash them every week. Um, so it's like nothing new, but it just feels good. Um, and I'm gonna try to clean up the rest of our room today because there's, um, both of us had bags, uh, like unpacked, uh, like overnight bags. So like weekend bags that need to be done. So there's just stuff everywhere kind of, but it's gonna be a great week. So like I said, donation, then I'm gonna go to Target and I'm actually gonna look for a new rug to go in our kitchen um, and probably a new front doormat, even though I just got a really freaking cute one at HomeGoods. There's some sort of like water that apparently gets into our like porch, even though we have like a covered porch in front of our front door that's like six feet long. Um, I don't really understand how water gets there, but it gets there and then the mat won't dry. Like I've dried it out in the sun, I've turned it over and it's like forever discolored. Like one side is darker than the other now and I don't know why. It's frustrating and there's never like sitting water there so I'm not sure how they get wet and but they look dingy and it pisses me off. So I'm gonna get a new one and I got a mat to go underneath it now. So I'm hoping having that like rug underneath the rug will help the situation and keep our mat looking better for longer. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to go to Target. And while I'm at Target, I think I'm gonna get a Starbucks drink. Um, I'm gonna pick up the Quest Protein Shakes, which I haven't had in a really long time. I kind of gave it a rest um, on the protein coffees and I've just been using oat milk and a little bit of creamer, which I'm loving. And I'm gonna continue to do that, but I'm just really craving that protein coffee today. Need a little pep in my step, so. Well, I'm actually pretty peppy. It just sounds good, honestly. So I'm gonna get a triple espresso from Starbucks, grab my protein shakes from Target while I'm there, and I'm gonna have a protein coffee while I grocery shop. I'm gonna go to HEB. I know that that's like a specialty store to Texas, but everything I buy, you can pretty much also get at Walmart. So, or whatever your local store is. It's pretty basic week. Um, I'm gonna show you my meal plan here in just a second. 
and then we'll go shopping. Okay, so this is the meal plan. If you're new here, these are my meal planners. I have a couple different designs now. If you wanna check out my website, I'll link it for you down below. They are all notepads. They have 50 sheets, they tear off, and there's a magnet, so they stick right to the fridge. Um, so blueberry IG muffins, it's just this recipe I found on Instagram. I will, um, I mean, you'll see it in this video and I'll link her or whatever down below for lunch. Uh, I'm going to do two days of egg roll in a bowl with ground turkey. Then later in the week, I'm going to prep just a zucchini pasta bowl. <laughs> I was going to say boat. Zucchini pasta bowl. Um, also with the other half of the ground turkey, I'm going to use mushrooms in both of these. I have leftover pasta and I already have a zucchini or not pasta, leftover sauce and a zucchini. So that will be perfect for my lunches this week. Um, snacks. I think I'm going to make some tuna salad, like hard boil some eggs and do like tuna mayo relish. Have that with like crackers, vegetables. I also am gonna get some fruit um, and like a veggie tray. This has been my new favorite thing is getting just a veggie tray, pre-cut, you wash it and you're good to go. I love that. A Little bit, you know, more expensive, but you get the right amount. I'm the only one that's gonna eat on it and buying all those vegetables individually would be way too much food for me to get through. So the veggie tray is where it's at. Prep is just the muffins and then the egg roll bowls and I'll be good for the week. I'm gonna make a salsa chicken bake tonight with um, like black beans, corn, green chilies, chicken and salsa in the oven. Um, I'm gonna try to find the Asian Zing sauce that Wingstop makes. I might like go to Wingstop and see if they'll sell me some. Morgan says he thinks they sell it by the bottle, but we're gonna do Asian Zing shrimp with some Trader Joe's fried rice that we have in the freezer. Uh, spinach dip pasta, cause I already have the spinach dip. We've got noodles with chicken. We already have the chicken as well. Um, and I have some leftover cherry tomatoes I'll probably throw in here and extra spinach. And then I think we're gonna do tostadas um, with some ground beef because all I have to buy is the tostadas and the beef. I have um, all the toppings that we would need, cheese. We already have Spanish rice, so that's the plan for this week. And also, shameless plug, I also have these calendars. I need to do my July one. I just ripped off the June one the other day um, and I haven't rewritten it, but I use this um, obviously on our fridge. You can do appointments, you can do whatever. I use it actually to track our bills. So we'll do like rent, electricity, water. So we both know when things are due. They auto draft um, from our accounts and we just like Venmo each other, whatever you know the price was for the month. And then I also have a grocery list, which I'm about to pull off and write on. First of all, best Starbucks ever. They topped it off with ice right at the end. Love that. They left me a note that says, you rock. Okay, cute. And they have the best handwriting. So thank you, Target Starbucks. You really have made my Sunday even better than it already was. So Quest Vanilla Shake. This is a triple espresso on ice. Honestly, it was like filled with ice. You can see how hot it is here. It's already melted. So I'm going to add as much of this as I can. I mean, tell me this isn't the most beautiful thing. A little thumbnail action right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Um, I don't know why I just thought of that bridesmaids moment where she like gets to the bridal shower and she's like, I don't have, they're like trying to hand her lemonade and she's like, I don't have cup holders. And she takes it and she's like struggling driving and she takes a sip. She's like, oh, that's good. And she's like disgusted that it's so good because she's pissed that she doesn't like that girl. I don't, I don't know why, but she got that vibe. Anyways, we did good at Target. I wish I wouldn't put everything in the back. I'll do a haul whenever I get home, but I got a candle. The one that last time I went to Target and got, I said it was too expensive. So I got the small one, but we've already burned through it and it is so good. So I bought the $20 one, it's a three wick and it's pretty large. It's the hearth and hand or whatever. I'm just obsessed. I just love it. So I just needed a little happiness. I did get that. I got my Quest shakes um, and I got some Quest chips in the chili lime flavor and I got three rugs, which I'll show you. But anyways, just wanted to update you on my iced coffee. Now we gotta go get groceries. That is the main thing. So we've got the list right here here. Um, 
five. I think on my target list, go team. <sighs> and yeah, we're ready to go. Do you miss your fans? Hmm? Miss being the star of the show? Okay, I am going to, in no particular order, show you the grocery haul and what I got. So at Target, I got the Quest Protein Chips in Chili Lime. These are kind of expensive. You only get four bags. I don't buy them all the time, but I seriously love them. This is like, um, gets me through not having the like Chili Lime Chips from Trader Joe's, the like Takis style ones. Obsessed, but these are really good high protein, whatever. I like them. Then, kind of a splurge, I got another candle. This is a hearth in hand with magnolia. Salt is the fragrance, just the salt, plain salt. Oh my God, it is just everything. It's everything. I'm so obsessed with it. The one I have burning is almost empty, so I had to get another one I love. And then, of course, I got the Quest protein, so I'll just put those in the fridge. Okay, some Frozen. I got the um, Jimmy Dean Delights Egg Witch. I've never tried these. Broccoli and cheese egg frittata with chicken sausage and cheese. So kind of seems like a lot of cheese. 250 calories, 14 grams of protein. Not too bad. Eight grams of carb. Um, not that I'm counting carbs, but just so you know. Um, and yeah, it's just like a little breakfast sandwich. I like to keep um, some sort of breakfast option on hand at work just for the mornings where I'm really into breakfast and like I need something like to have an option and I just ate I think my last turkey sausage like McMuffin by Jimmy Dean so I need something to replace those. Got some light sour cream for tonight's dinner. I just thought I would want that. I'm gonna make like a salsa chicken bake. I'll show you that. Egg whites for um the muffin recipe that I'm gonna make, I'm so excited. I think I might make that first. It's gonna be so good, I think. Um, egg whites for that, and then we'll probably use them in like scrambles and stuff, Morgan will. I got a pound and a half of the red, like Argentine shrimp or whatever, for our shrimp with fried rice. I got some baby bella mushrooms. I'm gonna use half in my egg roll in a bowl, and the other half for my lunch at the second part of the week, which is gonna be like a pasta list zucchini bowl. I went ahead and picked up some of these potatoes. We don't really have a plan for these this week, but I like to have them oops, on hand. Oh, and I got some candy from Morgan. I like to have these just on hand. So I got the Idahoan Monterey Pepper Jack mashed potatoes. That's new. The loaded baked potato one. And then also the Wisconsin cheddar is new. Um, obviously not a super healthy option, but we love them. And it's a great like on hand side, which we can make easily better than take out, whatever. Okay. I also got, I think I got four of these. Okay, I think there's another one somewhere, but I got the Alani uh, new Fit Snacks protein bars. I got two in fruity cereal, and then I got one in blueberry muffin, which Morgan said is good. I wanted to eat this one last time and he ate mine. So I got two of each so we can each try them. At least I think I got two of each. Um, they have like a mini bag of coleslaw. How cool is that? So I got this coleslaw for, um, dang, this whole container is 320 calories. Wait. Oh, it's a kit. Okay, so there's dressing in here somewhere that I'm not, oh yeah, there's a bag of dressing. Okay, I'm not using the dressing, I'm just using the veggies um, for the egg roll in a bowl and I love that it's like a little small pouch. Perfect, because I'm just gonna use half a pound of ground turkey for that. One of my favorite hacks recently is, and I know that this is a more expensive option, but getting the pre-cut fruits and veggies. So the pineapple strawberry has been me and Morgan's favorite recently. So I did pick up another one of these. So it's $4.20. I know it's expensive, but when I buy a full thing of strawberries, we hardly get through it. I always forget to freeze them. And then the vegetables, um, and then the veggie trays, uh, this one just comes with Hidden Valley Ranch. I'll probably use my own ranch for it, but you can totally use that. Um, and I just love that it has so many different options. So carrots, broccoli, celery, cherry tomatoes, more carrots, which is great. And then some of these little peppers. 
and this was like six dollars it's just one of the mini trays if i were to buy all of these ingredients separately i would never finish all of that in a week and it would honestly just go to waste so that has been really helpful for me moving on baby spinach for a couple recipes just to have to throw in literally you can throw in spinach in like every recipe um i got some of these pita crackers central market um, 11 crackers for 130 calories, hummus, eat with my veggies, snackies. I've been really wanting crackers, so I wanted to pick that up. Also picked up some tortilla chips. I have like a big thing of salsa we need to get through, so I'm going to use it tonight for the chicken bake, and I thought we would have some chips to go with dinner. Ha! Ah, found the other blueberry bar. They didn't have the munchies one, but that one is really good, the munchies flavor. Also got a 12-pack of eggs. We're gonna have tostadas later in the week, so I got a pack of those. I really wish they would sell these in like a 10 pack. Always come in like a massive quantity. Um, coffee, they didn't have the New Orleans blend or the cafe special, which is our go-to for community, but Morgan loves the Mardi Gras king cake. I do too, I like it. It's just not as strong. Um, it's got a little sweetness to it. It's delicious though, so I picked that up. Also, we needed some toothpaste, so I just bought the one that was on sale. Colgate Total Whitening. Um, some more proteins. I bought a pound of extra lean ground beef. This is gonna be for our um, tostadas. And then I also got a pound of lean ground turkey. This is gonna be half for my egg roll bowl, the other half for the pastelist zucchini thing for lunches, um, part of my low carb meal of the day. Also, this is so fun. This is really good. If you have HEB, definitely give these a try. 40 calories per can. It's just a little drink. It's a sparkling lemonade, no, sparkling lemon strawberry beverage. They're 40 calories. They're really good. Kind of something different if you want something that's not water. Uh, we really enjoy those. I don't know that we've tried that flavor, but the peach guava one, chef's kiss. So good. So good. Okay. Over here. I got another one of the Tuscan seasoned broccoli. I really liked this, although don't heat it. Like I wouldn't use it as meal prep again. I'll eat this for dinner like when I make it because um, I loved it right as it came out of the microwave, but leftover, it was mush. So liked that one though, which is surprising because I'm not huge on broccoli. Then I picked up Morgan some of these. These are a little bit expensive. We got them for free that one time and he's just hooked, so. Uh, we kind of splurge on them, but I got him one of the pepperoni ones, and then I got him three of the hot salami because uh, he really likes that one. So these are just easy for him to grab and go, have a snack for whatever. And then I also got this cauliflower risotto medley. So it's just um, asparagus, mushroom, and cauliflower. You would like, I guess, use the recipe on the back to turn it into risotto by adding like heavy cream and Parmesan. So I think I might do that maybe next week. I didn't buy any heavy cream, but it just looked good. So in the moment, I grabbed it. Okay, I think we're on the last bag. Um, blueberries for those muffins I'm gonna make. Morgan requested some hot Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. So I got him some of that. I got us some cheese sticks. I have these at work too, and they're just so good. Gouda and extra sharp cheddar. There's like a mix of different sticks. So. Um, I got us these to snack on at home. And then I also got another, um, I think I showed these in my uh, previous video, one of my previous videos, the casserole bites. These are really good. Just sausage, egg, and cheese, and potato. They're good. Morgan loved them, so I got him these as well. And I think that's everything except for I did get two packs of water. I got this one, which is cranberry raspberry sparkling water. It's unsweetened. I also got a lime flavor. Hutch is napping on the new rugs. So let me get everything put away. I'll show you what I got at Target and then we're gonna start meal prepping. And while I'm thinking about it, don't forget to scan your receipts if you use the Fetch app to get points for gift cards. Literally, I have gotten so many Amazon and Home Goods gift cards from just scanning my grocery receipts. And then also you can connect it to your email so you can get points for like Amazon orders, um, grocery pickup orders, literally so many things. Um, and they do bonuses. It's like if you scan a receipt on this day, you'll get like a thousand extra points or whatever. So anyways, I just scanned mine and through all my email that I haven't checked in, like I haven't done it in like over a week, I got like 
almost 2,000 points. So yay for that. Well, I'm about to start with the egg roll in a bowl. So we're gonna use half a pound of ground turkey. I decided to use some of the egg whites in it at the end, um, sort of like a, you know, like you add egg to stir fry because I really don't have a ton of uses for this other than that recipe. So just wanna use that up. Um, the coleslaw mix, you're not gonna use the dressing, just like the cabbage. Soy sauce, sesame oil, optional, but I have it and I don't use it that often, so I'm gonna try to use that. Minced garlic, garlic powder, and ginger, um, and then about a half of the mushrooms. And yeah, we're just gonna cook this all up together. It should be pretty easy. Also, I'm usually watching YouTube while doing this, so right now I'm watching Angelica Dawn. She has a new, um, this is her channel, Angelica Glows Up. She has a new, um, grocery haul that just went up today. So I'm going to watch that. Also this, <laughs> I was searching produ productive Sunday vlogs earlier, trying to like get in the mood. Um, anyways, I'm going to watch her. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. This meal prep is so easy. It's also everywhere. You can find this on Pinterest if you need an exact recipe. I just kind of winged it. Um, but as far as seasoning, I did use salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, um, soy sauce and some sesame oil and just kind of started with a little bit and added more once it was done started tasting it and adding more seasoning as needed it was delicious it tastes great leftover um, perfect on calories it was a great low carb meal and I will definitely be making this again in the future It is smelling amazing. I know this isn't like the most colorful recipe there's ever existed. I probably could have added some spinach, but didn't really think about it. Um, and it smells literally like an egg roll up in here. So excited. Also another little shout out, balancing life with Brie, kind of catching up with her and her schedule Sunday where she talks about what she's gonna eat every day of the week, which I love, good, good for ideas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let this cool before I split it into two servings. I mean, look at how much this made. This is a half pound of ground beef, a whole thing of coleslaw, half mushroom, and about a half cup of egg whites. And like, these are really big servings. So this is like the biggest pan that we own. Yay. So we got clean dishes over here, just kind of cleaned up in between meals. That's still cooling, still watching YouTube, filled up ice in my coffee. We're about to move on to these breakfast muffins. So I'm going to double the recipe, but you're going to need some all-purpose flour. This is all in grams, so you're also going to need a food scale. Um, all-purpose flour, vanilla protein, some sort of sweetener. I'm going to use the monk fruit, baking powder, baking soda, some egg whites, and some Greek yogurt. This is just for the muffin part. We're also going to make a blueberry filling with some blueberries and some monk fruit. And there's gonna be a glaze, which I think is made with powdered sugar. So moving forward, and I believe these are like 80 calories a piece or something like that, so like well below 100 calories. So that's exciting. And my food scale keeps dying. I thought I had backup batteries and I don't. And I can't get these to work no matter what I do. So this is my this is my thought process. So you need 15 grams, I'm making two, I'm doubling it. So it'll be 30 grams of protein powder. This says a scoop is 31 grams. So I used a scoop of this. Then I used like a scoop and a half of the flour. Cause you need a little bit more flour than protein powder according to the recipe. Then for the sweetener, I did, I was able to weigh out one teaspoon. It says it's four grams and it was four grams. So I just counted until I got to 30. Um, Cause I doubled this as well as 15 grams of sugar. I'm doubling it to do 30. Um, and then I just kind of eyeballed the baking powder and uh, the baking soda. So there's that. And for the yogurt, it's, um, 75 grams, but we're doubling it, so it's 150. That works out because this container is 150, so yay. 
love that for us. I'm gonna go ahead and add in, this is just plain Greek yogurt. I'm sure you could use a flavor. I wouldn't, I mean, maybe like vanilla or blueberry. I wouldn't really stray from those. Blueberry is probably gonna give it a weird look though. Um, anyways, I'm just using plain. We're putting sugar in it, so I don't know. Maybe just use plain because you don't wanna mess up the sugar intake or like whatever. Don't want it to be too, too sweet. Or you do, I don't know. So I just cleaned out that. And what's next? 20 grams of egg whites. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, this whole thing is like 400 grams of egg whites. So truly I'm just gonna eyeball it. And we're just gonna hope that this recipe turns out for the best. So we'll see. Okay, that looks good enough for me. Ignore my candy. Also, I just tasted the batter and it tastes like a straight up vanilla cupcake. So I have really high hopes for this. Yay. One thing I forgot to mention is that I did add a little bit of oat milk to the batter um, to get this consistency. It didn't call for any milk, but it just wasn't, I was worried it was too thick. So I just added a tiny bit of milk until I got more of a normal cupcake mixture and it worked out great. Okay, for the next part, you need uh, 50 grams of fresh or frozen blueberries and 14 grams of granulated sugar. So the back of the bag says that 140 grams is one cup. It says 50, so we're gonna need about, to double it, that would be about three fourths of a cup. Honestly, we're just eyeballing it at this point. That might be, that might be too much. Woo. And then about three teaspoons of the monk fruit. So I stuck a knife in this one just to be sure that they were cooked, and they are. They're definitely a weird shape, but they look nice and golden brown, and she says to let them cool fully before you do anything else. So I have the blueberries over here just kind of thickening up. You can add uh, xanthan gum or cornstarch. Just make sure you cook it enough. So like I microwaved mine for probably four minutes total, um, and I'm just going to let this sit here cool as well and thicken and then once we're ready to go i'll make the little drizzle for the top okay the muffins are fully cooled so i'm going to and so is the jam jam ish so mine's not super thick but that's kind of the consistency i'm working with i think it's going to be perfect though um and we're going to use just a little bit of powdered sugar i'm going to start with just a tablespoon that and not even a tablespoon like barely any oat milk you can use any milk or um, anything that you want I'm gonna start with that just another sunny day in Southern California Mine are definitely not as pretty as, as hers were, but like they don't look bad. They look pretty cute. So I'm very excited for these. These are gonna be for me and Morgan. And the middle, like the cupcake is literally so good. I'm so excited. You could do any fruit or any anything inside. You could just leave them as a little vanilla muffin or cupcake, make an icing. I feel like these are gonna be really versatile. All right, y'all, I'm about to start making dinner. I'm gonna put these chicken tenders just down in the pan. Uh, probably gonna top it with some taco seasoning, then top it with salsa, some rinsed black beans. I'm not gonna use this whole can. I did not mean to order this like massive can, probably about half. Um, this drained can of corn and some diced green chilies. I'm gonna bake that probably for like 25 minutes. Then I'm gonna top it with cheddar cheese, let that melt. We're gonna serve it with rice and vegetables.
instead of making veggies with dinner, because I just feel like it's going to be a big dinner, um, I'm just going to eat the leftover veggie tray of last week. I've got some hummus here. I might get out some mustard for my carrots. Um, these are really good. Whatever this is. I don't know what these are called, but they're so good. They're like peas, I guess. I don't know. Big fan. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have that as a snack. These are all done. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to store these yet, but keep you updated. Chicken is still cooking. Rice is done. We just use like the Nor brand Spanish rice. So that is done. We're ready to have a great week. Okay, so it took about 45 minutes. I believe all the chicken in the middle, like everything is cooked, so we should be good. I'm going to top it with cheese and put it back in uncovered just until the cheese melts. Cheese is all melted. I just um tried like a little bit of the of this like green chilies and black beans and corn in this like salsa sauce holy moly you guys this is so much better than i thought it was gonna be i'm freaking pumped about this so i'm just gonna let it cool for like five minutes um Morgan just hop, got home and hopped in the shower real quick, and then we are about to eat. Okay, y'all, we just finished eating. I'm, like, stuffed. That's about as far as I got. Um, I think I had three tenders. Morgan, I was like, oh, yeah, we'll definitely have that again. Like, it turned out way better than either of us were thinking. I don't know why. We thought it was going to be maybe a little bit bland. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was just going to be something different. Yeah. I don't know what, but it was awesome, though. It was so good. I think you have to do the taco seasoning, and the green chilies really helped, I think. Like, it yeah. was just good. It kind of almost turned into, like, an enchilada sauce flavor. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of, like, what it was. Mm -hmm. It was, like, enchiladas without the tortillas. Bro. Yeah, literally. It was really, really good. So, mine took about 45 minutes. They were slightly overcooked, so I would say, like, 40 would probably be good. Or if you spread your chicken out a little bit more, mine were all, like, squished together. It would probably take less time. Um, but yeah, Morgan rated this 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's definitely a 10 for me. So, yay. I would also rate it a 10. I think it's delicious. I would definitely make it again. And now we're both stuffed and I think we're just going to migrate to the couch. And that is the end of the video. See you in the next one. Bye. I'm going to say bye. Bye. <laughs>